I don't think I can say there was like an aha moment where I was like, this is what I want to do. It was rather just like this continuous, like learning and loving more about STEM and science and technology. Gitanjali Rao is not your average 15 year old. She is an inventor, a scientist, and now Time Magazine has named her Kid of the Year. It is so beyond exciting, but also really humbling and honoring to be able to um, just have this opportunity to be featured on the cover of Time among so many other beyond fantastic people. I mean, it's unbelievable to look at the cover and just to see how proud you are wearing that lab coat with all the medals around your neck. What does it mean to you to see you know, yourself represented like that on the cover of such an iconic magazine. It's so crazy to wake up and see your face all over the internet and your face on the cover of Time, that one magazine you've been reading for years. Um, but I think that really what it means is I'm representing all the young scientists out there and all the young innovators who do want to make change in this world. And I'm showing them that if I can do it, anyone can do it. The Lone Tree Colorado teen was selected for more than 5,000 nominees, but her pursuit of science and knowledge began well before she got on Time Magazine's radar. Like, what, what's your earliest memory of being curious? Ooh, my earliest memory is actually when I was about four years old and my uncle got me this science kit. And I felt the need to finish the whole thing for some reason in one day. And I did, I went through the whole, it was huge. Like, let me tell you, it was basically this big. And I was, it, it had all sorts of biochem and physics experiments in it and I would mess around with it every single day. And I think it was just something so interesting about things changing or things erupting or things, you know, just having some sort of reaction. And that's what made me excited about science is knowing that I could use it to solve problems because this was something I love to learn about, but I never knew how broad the applications were. Rouse started getting noticed a few years ago when she invented Tethys, a device that could detect lead contamination in drinking water. I've looked at lead in water in the past, and then I looked at prescription opioid addiction, and then I looked at cyberbullying, and I've actually gone back to water, but I've focused on parasitic compounds, so like biocontaminants in water. Um, and I'm also looking at some things to help out with the COVID-19 pandemic. And I think that one of the next biggest challenges we're gonna face is distribution and prioritization of the vaccine. So I'm looking towards some sort of data and predictive analytics approach towards that. Um, but then again, I also wanna look at how we can prevent future pandemics since they will probably be more frequent with um, cross species transmissions and things like that. And in spite of her extraordinary achievements, her hobbies are quite ordinary. What do you do to relax, especially during the pandemic? So I honestly think of the pandemic like a flight. Like how do you pass time when you're on like a flight, when you're going somewhere? And that's movies. Apart from that, I fence, um, I play the piano, I play the bass. What else? Oh, I've recently gotten into baking. The hardest thing actually I can make is bread, like any type of bread. I could just throw it in the oven and it will taste good. Well, I mean, it can't taste bad. It's just like- It's bread. Butter. It's like, yeah, it's like it's a pizza, bread. right? When you have bad pizza, it's still pizza. Yeah, it's like anything that I bake comes out looking really bad, but it's butter, sugar, and flour. So I'll eat it. <laughs> what sort of advice would you have, not just for kids, but for anyone in the world right now who want to pursue a career in science? Dream big, dream beyond what you could even imagine, and then look at how you can do it because there's no one stopping you but yourself. What is on Gitanjali's list of to-do things as you look forward into the future? I'm not really sure. I think all of these recognitions have kind of just been like a stop in my journey, which motivates me more to keep doing what I'm doing. I know that whatever I'm gonna be doing in these next couple of years, I will continue what I'm doing and I will continue making a positive impact on the world. Katanjali, thank you so much and congratulations on all of your success. Yeah, thank you for having me.